care of your heart. Yeah, heart disease, the number one killer of women. This month is American Heart Month, a chance for you to learn a little bit more about heart disease and how, more importantly, you can prevent it. Yeah, Naomi Peskovitz has been quizzing us on our heart health <laughs> knowledge all morning. She is here now in studio with a little test for you guys at home as well. Naomi, good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, you did pretty well on our last test. You got some prizes. There'll be another one for you guys coming up later okay. on during the show. But for now, we also wanted to check out the women at home. We hit Monument Circle. They're having a special event there today for your heart. Julia's going to talk about that in just a moment. But first, we asked women true or false questions to find out how much they know about their heart health. Let's get to our first test. True or false, heart disease is only for older people. False. Why? Because if you don't take care of your heart, then at a young age, then it could go bad anyway. All right, what do you guys think? True or false? She's right. Yep. Heart disease affects women of all ages, so it's not just for older people. For younger women, in fact, the combination of birth control pills and smoking, that can bump up your risk. Uh, risks do go up with age, of course, but if you lead a completely healthy lifestyle, you can still have a risk based on any genetic factors. So, Good to know. All right. Yes. All right, we'll get to our next question now. True or false, heart disease doesn't affect women who are fit? False. Why? Because it can affect anyone based on their genetics or anything um, that they may have family related. And what do you think? She's True. right. Yeah, so it doesn't matter if you eat right, do all the yoga you can think of. It does not totally eliminate your risk. You can be very thin and still have high cholesterol. Mm -hmm. The American Heart Association recommends that you start getting your cholesterol checked at the age of 20, and especially if you do have a history of heart mm -hmm. disease or heart attacks in your family, keep an eye on that blood pressure, All too. Right. Good. Good advice there. Okay, next up, final question. What do we think? True or false, extreme chest pain is the main symptom of heart disease in women? Um, true? Why do you think that? Um, I mean, it's in the same area, so I'm assuming that means something's really wrong. All right, what do you guys think? Is it the only or main symptom for women? No. The answer is false. She got it wrong, but it was a pretty good guess there. Uh, we think about extreme chest pain being the main symptom because that can be true for men, but for women, we have different symptoms. We're more likely to have shortness of breath or nausea, vomiting, uh, back, jaw pain, fatigue. Mm. Those can all be some symptoms for women, including dizziness, too. All right, yeah, so some rare ones that maybe you just don't link. So we just, it's so important to know these things. Yeah, it's, that's the key, really, for this month, is getting the word out there, talking about it, because most women who suddenly die of some sort of coronary issue mm -hmm. don't have any symptoms at all. Oh, God. That's scary. Yeah, yeah, silent killer. And and this information is good for men as well. I mean, yes. we, you know, of course, people just assume men, we, we're watching the game eating wings and drinking beer. So it's right. like, well, you guys are already at risk. So for women, it is. I'm glad we're highlighting this here today. Yeah, it's American to Heart Month is for everybody. Mm -hmm. But the reason they focus on women is because for so long we thought it was just men. Mm -hmm. yeah. So they want women to understand that it really can affect us. All too. right, pretty important. All right, well, as Naomi was talking about, we do hope to see a lot of you downtown this morning for the Red Dress Dash. Things get started around 8 o'clock this morning with a presentation by our own Anne-Marie Tiernan at 8.15. And then the dash around Monument Circle that begins at 8.30. So put on a red dress and sneakers and go for a run this morning around that circle. And keep in mind that Friday is Wear Red Day as well. So make sure you get everyone in your office, your family, to throw on some red just to bring awareness to this important month. And then post those pictures, hashtag IndieGoRed or Wear Red Day.